Information from the Mining Register Office shows that there have been 453 licenses given to mining operators in the state. Out of these, 369, which is about 81.46%, were given specifically for mining gold. This high number of gold licenses indicates that there's a lot of gold in the state. The areas where there is the most banditry, like Shiroro, Munya and Rafi local government areas, also happen to have the biggest gold deposits. However, there are some serious problems in these mining areas, including banditry, child labor, worker exploitation, illegal mining and the dangerous use of chemicals like sodium cyanide. Because of these issues and to improve security and revenue, Governor Umar Bago decided to temporarily stop mining activities. People are mining everywhere. First and foremost, form a tax force. Stop every mining, whether it's legal or illegal in Niger State. I've given you a marching order. Let us take an inventory of people that are mining in Niger State, whether you're acquiring, whether you're taking. Stop them. Not far from Mina, the capital of Niger State, there's a mining site that's been closed, in line with the governor's directives. However, some illegal mining is still ongoing, and it attracts women and children daily. This is the result of poverty that is also prevalent in the area. This lady, Ladi John, a mother of five who had lost her bean cake business to inflation, comes to this site daily to dig up soil and wash it. She's not alone here, as Shamsuddin Abdullahi, who couldn't continue his education after high school, joins her in the illegal activity. And the reason why that I do this work, I no get work to do. I did my business before before they do business. Nakara they fly from Tipa garage, so the market is going slow. I want government to help me, help me with work, any any kind of work, sure. In an attempt to sanitize the mining sector in Niger State, the Commissioner for Mineral Resources, Garba Yahaya, said the ministry has initiated a profiling strategy with a view to having a comprehensive data of miners operating within the state and to provide the necessary support. We want to have the actual data of the miners in the state. And uh, we want to profile them, we, know the, we should know their location. And uh, if there is any intervention or assistance from the government, if you don't have data, there is no way you can assist people. The state chairman, Miners Association of Nigeria, Niger State Chapter, disagrees that there is a relationship between banditry and mining, saying over 70% of unemployed youths and women make a living out of mining. He, however, admits that laborers at the mining site engage in illegal drugs. I said this without no apology, that there is no miner in Niger State licensed legally operating that connive or have any affiliate to banditry. I have thrown a challenge before and I will continue to do it. The government believes that the profiling strategy will help solve the big problems in the mining sector. However, the coming weeks and months will tell if this strategy really works or if they need to find other solutions to the myriad problems in the sector.